Hey, this is Arno from Golden Land, and in this video, I'll show you how you can customize or personalize your homepage in Zoho CRM. So, homepage provides you with the most important data that requires your attention. So, depending upon your role in your organization, your needs about what needs to be displayed in the homepage would differ. So, for example, if you are the CEO, you would possibly would require visibility of data across sales, customer service, or inventory in your home page. However, if you're a sales manager, you would primarily possibly be interested in sales or business development related data in your home page. Similarly, for a customer support representative, he or she might be interested only in cases or solutions related data. Now, in the home page, there are two types of views which is available. The first one is called classic view and the second one is called customizable view. Now, if you click on the classic view over here, now there are only three components that are displayed over here, which is your the task list view. So over there, you can select the different views within a task. It could be open task or all task or close task. And the second component, which you can view over here, which is called today's events, and the third one is pipeline by stage. Now the point to remember over here is you cannot customize the components over here when you are inside the classic view. However, in the home page, you can switch to another view which is called customizable view. Now you can customize this view, okay, depending upon the role, depending upon the data that you might require in your home page to be displayed. And over here, you can have a maximum of five components. So what I mean by component, like over here, this is a component. All task is a component over here. So I can have a maximum of five components in the home page. Now, you can either modify your existing component over here. So for example, I'm seeing uh, all tasks is displayed over here. So if I need to modify this one, I can click over here. And then instead of all tasks, I may want to display only the open tasks. And you need to change the component name as well. So I can change it to open task. Now, column layout is uh, what is going to be the width of this specific component. So I can choose it as a two column layout as well. And if I choose that, this will be spread out across my screen. So like the way you can see that this fills up my screen over here. So this is an open task. A component that we have set up over here. Now, in order to uh, add additional components over here, you can click on the Add Component button over here. So click on Add Component. Over there, you can see that the system is offering you the selection of the modules over here. So you can see all the modules from Zoho CRM would be displayed over here, except the Reports module. Now, you can choose any module from here. So for example, uh, if you want to choose, say, uh, the deals which are going to get closed this month, so you can choose the potentials module over here. And then once you are there, it will show you all the views uh, which have been created for the potentials module. So it could be either the predefined views or the user created views. Now I can choose like what are the deals which are going to get closed this month. So closing this month. I can also set up the column layout over here. So let me choose it as a two column layout. And the component name, uh, I rather prefer the component name be the same as the custom view name. So I might call it closing this month. You can of course change this as well. So you can say uh, deals closing this month. Okay, and the moment you save this part of it, this component would be displayed into your home page. Okay, now if you want to change the layout from a two column layout to a single column layout, you can go over here, you can edit this part of it and change it to a single column layout. Okay, similarly for the task as well, if you want to change this part of it to a single column layout, you can go ahead and change it to a single column layout. Okay, and of course, if you uh, want to kind of alter the uh, places as well, you can just drag and drop into the appropriate places over here. Okay, so this uh, position can also be changed over here. 
Now, if you want to add some additional components, so for example, if you want to have your components displayed based on the data from your dashboards, you can also do that. So click on add component over here and then select uh, dashboards as the module over here. Then select something like a, a pipeline by stage. That's something that you want to display in your home page where you can see your sales funnel by different stages. You can call it uh, sales pipeline by stage. Okay, uh, save this part of it. So this will create a home uh, a component into home page is sales pipeline by stage over here. Uh, let me add some more component over here. So let me call it uh, say I want to see my sales pipeline by different states. Okay, so let me choose dashboards over here. Let me choose say a pipeline by state or let me call it sales pipeline by states. Okay. Uh, because I primarily run my business across multiple geographic areas. So over here, it displays the sales pipeline by states over here. Okay. I can also add any other component over here as well. So for example, if I want to add something related to my customer support, so I can go ahead and add that part of it. So let me call it dashboards. And this time dashboards is related to customer support. So I can choose over here like it could be the cases by status because I want to see that how many cases are open, how many have been closed, so on and so forth. So I can call it cases by status. And the moment I click on save, so this will get created over here as well. Okay, it is cases by status. So how cool is that? So in your home page, you can go ahead and customize the way you want. So you could have data presented out from your different modules and most importantly, before you decide to customize your home page, first decide like what are the different items you want to be displayed in your home page so that based on that, you can run your business right from your home page itself. Okay. Now, if you see over here, like for example, I've got a list view which is displayed over here. Now, in one view, I can have a maximum of five rows. If you want to go to the next view you can click on next over here using the arrow over here and this will take to the next set of reports over here okay now uh, if you look at the deals closing this month there are a couple of columns which have been displayed over here now if you want to change or add modify some of the columns over here you can't do it from here so you have to go to the respective uh, view inside the module so for example this time i'm talking about deals closing this month. So this is a view which has been created from the potentials module. So you have to go back to the potentials module over here. Okay, over there, select the right module from here. So this is closing this month. And then you can edit this view over here if you want to add something uh, or modify something from here. So for example, you may decide to have it uh, something like a sales cycle duration or an overall sales duration over here. Okay, and add this part of it. The moment you do that, this gets added over here. And if you come back to the home page, you'll be able to see that in that dashboard as well, okay, uh, that value gets added over here. So this column gets added over here. Okay, so hope you have enjoyed this video and uh, you know now that how to customize or personalize your home page. If you have got any question, please feel free to visit the Golden Lion website, which is glionconsulting.com. And of course, you can do a live chat with us or you can visit the contact page over here, leave your details, and we promise to get back to you exactly within 24 hours. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll speak to you in the next video.